Hey guys, welcome to a, another masterclass. Today we're gonna talk about something different that you are used from me. Uh, usually I'm trolling with big baits and stuff, but recently we've been experimenting with smaller boats, but also smaller lures. Uh, a couple of tips that I wanna give you guys if you wanna experiment with fishing on smaller water systems with lighter tackle, smaller boats, not even having an engine and stuff. Keep it small and keep it simple. Um, at the moment I'm fishing with just one rod. You could put a second rod out, especially if it's a bit more wider as in this situation. Uh, but keep it simple and keep it as easy as possible. Right now I'm just trolling with one small little crankbait rod. Don't make it too complicated with leaders and stuff. I'm just using a fluor carbon trace that is just directly connected to my, uh, to my main line. And when I'm not, I have it attached to my lure. Um, in terms of crankbaits and stuff, I would also use small floating crankbaits like these. This is the gravity crank we've been using quite successful, but also I'm using the 3D smelt. Also, you want to use uh, crankbaits that are floating because you're trolling in a water system with a lot of debris and shit on the bottom. You get stuck, obviously, and when you get stuck, you don't want your other lures to sink down as well. So if you have floating lures, they will come up. This will make it easier to untangle the other stuff that is stuck. Another quick tip, use rods that are not too long. I'm using a fairly short rod. This is the 213 centimeter long rod. Um, it's easy to handle. If you're gonna use a longer one, it's gonna be difficult to maneuver in small little narrow streams or uh, on any bridges and stuff. Especially in the Netherlands, everything is quite urban, quite packed together. It's really hard to maneuver. You wanna have short rods so you can maneuver a bit more easily. Also, try and pick lake systems or water systems that are not too deep. Um, if you're gonna pick water systems that are deeper, you probably need a sonar to successfully fish over there. What we've been doing is fishing on water systems that are relatively shallow, like between a meter to maybe three meters tops. That way you can't really go wrong when you use uh, crankbaits or softbaits that run like a meter to one and a half meters deep. You will always present it in the strike zone. While we'll, if you go to deeper water systems, then you need to vary a bit, try to find the drop-offs, try to find the deeper areas. And um, that's a bit harder when you don't have a sonar. And coming back to my initial tip, keep it simple. Right now we are trolling with a small rubber boat. We don't have a sonar on board. And it's all quite easy to, uh, to fish with lures that are running a meter, a meter and a half tops. Uh, if you have lures that run deeper than that, don't worry about it. Just don't put that much line out. Keep it close to the boat. And also, if that doesn't work, put your rod tip up high. That way you can control the depth of your lure way easier. Finally, don't bring too much stuff. Right now, I'm using a box with crankbaits. And I got another box with some soft baits, which I haven't used at all today. Um, small little measure tape like this, plier. That's it, you don't need much more. When it comes to camera and stuff, because I do notice that a lot of people wanna do more with video and photos, uh, obviously you can use your, uh, your, your phone for instance. Modern day phones have really good cameras. But if you do wanna bring a more professional camera, I would suggest to bring a lens that either has a wide angle or is a zoom lens, which has a wide angle at the widest. Uh, I'm currently using one which is 28 millimeters. Um, a bit too long for my liking, to be honest, in this boat. I will probably switch back the next time towards using a 20 millimeter. And this is on a full frame camera, so you have to keep that in mind as well. If you use something like APS-C or Micro Four Thirds, you will have a crop factor as well. And then a 20 or 28 millimeter lens will probably put you in some trouble because you can't really get the fish in the shot or you can't get the whole scenery in the shot. Something to keep in mind. But I do think that will be a different masterclass on its own someday. So stay tuned for that one.